Reviews Tween Hour. Today I'm going to be reviewing the book How To Be by Bren McDibble. So Bren McDibble was actually born in New Zealand but she now lives in Melbourne, Australia. So this book has won three awards. Two of them are in Australia, one of them in New Zealand. So the first one is uh, the Children's Book of the Year Awards for Australia. The second award was the New Zealand Book Awards for Children and Young Adults. And the third is New South Wales Premier's Literary Awards in 2018. So How to Be is a dystopia set in a time where bees are extinct. Um, so basically the kids have to be the bees and on, cause she lives on a fruit farm. So they have to like climb the trees and pollinate as if they were bees. And she has adventures as well. So it's a slight adventure book in a way. So How To Be revolves mainly around a girl called Peony who starts out living at the farm with her grandpa and her sister Magnolia with her two friends Applejoy and his little brother Mango Joy. But then her mum Rosie takes her away to the city where she helps her mum at a house and meets her stepfather Danny um, who's kind of, I could you could say, the bad guy of the books. Um, and then basically at that house where she's helping, she meets her best friend Esmeralda. Um, and then finally she does go back to the farm and resumes her friendship with Applejoy and Mango Joy and her sister and her grandfather. So in How To Be, it starts off with Peony being at the farm with her grandfather and her sister and her best friend Applejoy. And her and Applejoy desperately want to be bees. Because basically, bees are extinct, and so children get selected to climb up the trees and pollinate all the flowers so that it can produce fruit, because they're on a fruit farm. And so her and Applejoy go to try out, but unfortunately, Peony doesn't make it because someone sabotaged her trial, whereas Applejoy does. She's really disappointed that she didn't make it, but she's happy for her best friend. And then on one of her mother's regular visits that she does when she comes to the farm, um, she takes Peony away to the city to <laughs> be with her and her new stepfather, Danny. But she does not like Danny at all because he treats her and her mother really badly. He's just not a nice person. And her mum is working as a maid for a house and Peony has to go and live with her because that's where, and work with her because that's where her mother's living. And at that house, she meets a girl called Esmeralda who lives there and they become best friends over time when she's working there. But Esmeralda is afraid to go outside and Peony thinks that this is ridiculous because she grew up on a farm. And so she, over time, helps Esmeralda overcome her fear of going outside and they have adventures together out there and they have heaps of fun. But Peony knows that she has to go back to the farm. She has to find her grandpa again and her best friend and her sister. And so her and Esmeralda devise a plan for her to go back and one night she just runs away and she makes it back to the farm. And there she desperately wants to try out to be a bee, but her and Applejoy get selected to be bee keepers to the bees that have been bred and brought back to the farm. And so that's an even more important job than being a bee and she has a great life back on the farm. I have pretty much only one dislike for this book and it was that it was slow to get into but it ended too quickly, I just wanted it to keep going. So How To Be I would recommend to tweens and teens. There's violence mentioned throughout the books because her stepfather doesn't treat her mother very well like he does hurt her and it's also quite sad because of that. Um, and so it's got more mature themes that are better for a slightly older audience. I would give this book an 8 out of 10. I loved it, it was really good. It had great plot with like the whole bees being extinct, that was super interesting and something I've never read about before. The characters developed really well over time, places were described really well and it was written really well overall but it just wasn't up there with some of my favourite books.